Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Daryl, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th. But keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and I, I've been really reiterating that a lot lately um, because people need to know that, right? Anyhow, the timing, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time for something. I know that it is. I'm not sure what it is, but I know that there's time. It's time. Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? I was going to do that with a bridge shuffle, but I decided not to. Um, what do we have for a message today? For, you know, the timing is fluid. <laughs> oh, goodness. So what do we have for a message today? Seven of Cups reverse. Now that is becoming clear of the choice, coming out of confusion. There's been some confusion. There's been some sort of illusion. This is seeing clearly now. The rain is gone, right? This is seeing very, very clearly what the choice is, what the best option is. This is clarity, receiving clarity. So somebody is receiving, you know, the clarity that they need coming out of confusion. King of Wands in reverse could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the Seven of Cups. Um, King of Wands reverse, self-centered, conceited, unreasonable upset angry somebody may be angry they may be mad at themselves they have been unreasonable or they may be angry they may be seeing very clearly what the best option is now they're upset Ooh, you want to see what the best option is right here that right there is the best option, okay? That is, that's the goddess of love, right? That is uh, somebody that does everything with love, okay? The empress is a goddess. Oh, we got the two of cups on the bottom. Two of cups. So this is a partnership, a union, a happy couple, compatible. They got, the Empress gives birth to a new life. This is a creator. It's a creator that does everything with love. She cares. She loves. She does everything with love. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Doesn't have to be. Glowing. Uh, abundant. Looks like she's sitting on her throne. Feels like this person is a speaker, some sort of speaker. We right right after the King of Wands reverse may have something to do with a mother. Um, this is the Empress is a mother, very motherly, very beautiful, loving, caring, can grow anything, very abundant. Everybody wants to help the Empress because she puts out a very loving energy it's all about love it's all about love with the empress and we have a union here we have a partnership we do have an individual that can see very very clearly what their best option is this is somebody that can take really good care of them the empress is the mother she is the earth mother you know she's the mother she is she's the queen of all queens and we have an individual that lacks courage lacks confidence in themselves, the King of Wands reverse. This person may have some fear, may be afraid of this person's beauty or abundance or something like that. May feel inadequate, but can see very, very clearly that this is the best option. Seven of Cups reverse says this is, I know that this is the best option. I mean, the Empress, she, she's very motherly. She's very caring. She does everything with love. She's beautiful. She's the main pick. Okay, she's the pick of the litter. Empress, she, she delivers, okay? She delivers. 
ruled by Venus, which is the planet of love and abundance, wealth. Knight of Wands. This is this is making an entrance. This is somebody acting right now. So somebody is going to be heading right towards this Empress. They're headed. They are. They are making an approach. This is somebody who's got this vision. They got a strong desire. They definitely can see clearly. They're going to be taking action. It's very fertile. This is a very. It's a time of growth. It's a very fertile time. So. We have an individual that is definitely taking action. They are going to do something. They're going to take action right now. It's right now. I've got to go. Um, this is somebody that is very passionate. That is making an entrance. Got to act now. Think later. That's what the... the the Knight of Wands is act now. There's there's some sort of strong desire to be loved because the Empress is all about love, okay? That's love. And she's not only she's very sensual and uh you know she gives her all. She's very sensual. A lot of passion here. Beautiful. Four of Wands, commitment, getting together, having fun, going somewhere, going to a celebration maybe together. There is some sort of commitment that is coming. This is happiness. It's a happy home, building a foundation, an engagement. Um, somebody may be getting engaged or they're, they, somebody could be coming in that they end up getting married to. Totally unprepared for this arrival. There is some sort of arrival here. The Empress, she delivers, she gives, there is an arrival. There's a sudden arrival, very, very sudden. Could be a sudden commitment, sudden engagement. Happiness. We do have one individual here that has been unreasonable. They are, they, but they can see clearly what they want. They, this, this empress, she wants commitment. Okay, the empress is not gonna settle. The empress doesn't settle. Okay, she doesn't. She doesn't settle for anything but commitment. And the empress is connected to the four of wands, which is a commitment, like marriage commitment kind of thing long-term commitment totally unprepared now i've shuffled this has been on the bottom twice three of wands reverse so that is unprepared for an arrival and i think that we i think we have somebody that is definitely arriving because they don't want to they don't want to sail away they don't want this ship to sail the ship is probably sailing you're dealing with an empress the empress has multiple options because she does everything with love and she loves unconditionally, so everybody wants that love. Everybody does. And the, and the Seven of Cups is options. This Empress has a lot of options. This is about the options. There's many, many, many. Totally unprepared. Hmm. But the Empress doesn't settle. She doesn't settle. Because she knows her value. She's the queen of value. Well, she's not even, she's above a queen. Okay, she's the queen of all queens. Ah. Ooh, this one's off by itself. Ten of Wands. That's overwhelmed. We got somebody here that has been not seeing, okay? They've been working too hard. They haven't been seeing what's right in front of them. Maybe trying to prove a point of some sort. Overwhelmed. Somebody is extremely overwhelmed and they're holding on to some baggage. 
they're holding on to something that and maybe it's a burden they're carrying a heavy burden somebody is is really struggling with letting go they're struggling with letting go of something that is weighing them down that is holding them down maybe you think about what's before that is the nine of wands that is challenge you know there somebody is struggling with uh, their previous challenges their previous fights you know their previous burdens they they're trying to prove that something we got somebody here that's been trying to prove a point that you know and they have been reluctant to give up on something that you know they've been holding on to for some time choosing not to see an opportunity that's right in front of them because they were I don't know it feels like they were blocking themselves in some way holding on to something because of money for financial reasons four of four of pentacles reverse somebody has been holding on to something because of greed maybe but this is opening up it is letting go it's letting go letting go of the burden letting go of the baggage letting go somebody was holding on to something because it was stable because it was safe you know blocking what was right in front of them five of swords doesn't clarify that ten of wands five of swords admitting defeat walking away we got somebody here that has been really struggling battling i think they've been battling with themselves and I feel like I feel like they made a poor choice because I, I got the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords, and now the Seven of Cups reversed. That's why I put the card. So this is a choice. Somebody is is has really been battering, battling with a poor choice that they have made. They and they have a and they're in their ego. They've been in their ego, and they there's pride here. Pride, pride, carrying a heavy burden. You know, in their ego, wanting to prove. The Five of Swords is about proving as well. Somebody has been trying to prove that they did not make a poor choice. They've been in their ego, and they've been overwhelmed. And they have been very overwhelmed. But now they see very, very clearly that there's a beautiful opportunity right in front of them. And they are going to take action. But they know that they're dealing with somebody who wants commitment, maybe marriage, probably, if you're dealing with an empress. We could have a proposal here if somebody may be getting a proposal of some sort, just saying, I mean, not everybody, but seeing clearly what the choice is. This is a win or lose if you don't take action right now you're gonna lose because of the uh, all the other options ten of swords right next to the four of wands now this is the death of a situation the end the end this is a painful end a painful ending the end okay the end of a commitment, the end of a painful situation, because I'm putting it right next to the Four of Wands. There's going to be a get-together. There's going to be an upcoming get-together or a reunion, perhaps. Somebody may be attending a reunion. I don't know. Maybe it's a funeral. <laughs> I hate to say that. Um, walking away. We have somebody here that is in a funeral could be the death of a marriage, a death of a commitment, okay? We do have the death of a commitment here because there is another option. There is. We have somebody here that has been working really, really hard, not uh, seeing clearly. This is, this is... Uh, struggling somebody's been struggling really 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 bad with some sort of burden 
We, I see, I think we have somebody that is about to give up. They are about to give up on the poor choice that they made. They're angry, they're upset. They see an opportunity for unconditional love and they're going to go for it. This is the end of suffering. Tens are completions. They've been suffering. They've been hurting. This empress is, is, a, is very motherly. What do mothers do? They take care of things, you know. They, they nurture, they love, they, they heal. Four of Pentacles now upright. That is stability. Holding on. We got somebody here that has been holding on just for the stability. That's the clarity that I needed. They've been holding on to a commitment just for financial reasons, for the financial stability of it, because it was something that was safe, you know? But I think it's about to end because I see somebody replacing that fear, really like going for it. This is, the Knight of Wands is fearless, going for love, going for love, I mean, Seriously, we got somebody here that is definitely going towards this empress. This empress is, you know, beautiful. This is the end of suffering. Somebody is going to be building a foundation with somebody that we got these fours. Fours are about foundations. They're going to be building a foundation with somebody that is stable, that is solid, that is real, that they can, uh, that can help them to heal in some way. And I say, and it's definitely a healing type of energy. We have strength on the bottom that is healing. It is courage. It is brave. We have somebody here that is being brave. They are looking at somebody that is very graceful, very beautiful. Again, um... They have been restraining themselves, but I feel like they are about to take action right now. It's like very or very soon right now that act now, think later. This is the end of suffering. This is a brave act. It's very brave. It's very courageous. The Empress gives birth to a blessing, so there's some sort of blessing that is, somebody's about to receive a blessing of some sort. I don't know if I mentioned reunion, because there could be an upcoming get-together, could be your family reunion, or, or I don't know, some sort of reunion or a get-together, um, engagement, celebrating. There could be a celebration because something is over, you know, the pain is over, the suffering is over because it's the Four of Wands next to the Ten of Swords. And you need to hold on. Somebody is going to be holding on to something. Somebody wants to hold on to something. They don't want to let it go. They don't want to, they don't want to watch it slip away. We have an individual that is extremely overwhelmed. They have been ignoring something that's right in front of them, choosing to keep their head down, choosing not to see. But now they see, now they see. They've been struggling. They've been struggling with pride. They've been struggling with their ego, you know, worried about what everybody else is gonna say, wanting to win at all costs, not wanting to let anybody know that they made a poor choice. But there's consequences with the Seven of Cups. If you don't act now, you lose. Because the Five of Swords is win or lose. If you don't take action right now, you're going to lose. Somebody's about to take action very, very fast. This is all of a sudden. A sudden ending that leads to a celebration or leads to a commitment. A get-together of some sort.
somebody's about to receive or there's going to be an approach or an arrival or something like that. The Empress could be taking action. She may be ending something with somebody, completely ending something, because the Empress is looking down at that Ten of Swords. So this woman or feminine is looking at an ending. She's ending something, holding on to her value, looking for a solid commitment in marriage. action right now somebody is taking action right now things are about to end this is the end of suffering there's going to be some sort of get together strength courage bravery somebody is going to be doing something very very brave Ah, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, to me, I said it multiple times, is the Empress and the Minor Arcana. This is somebody that is living the good life that is very self-sufficient, stable, solid, secure, has worked hard. This is an entrepreneur, a business owner, or, some, or somebody that is just very independent, that can take care of themselves. self-sufficient valuable this is somebody that knows their value has a lot of self-worth doesn't need anybody this is something doesn't need somebody I can do it by myself there's there is somebody here that is very capable very very capable of taking care of themselves we could have somebody that is becoming independent or it's going right next to the Ten of Swords. This could be the end of independence. Something you can hold on to, something you can keep. Whenever I see the Four of Pentacles, I think of this as like being the bank, right? I always do. Something you can hold on to. Somebody is about to receive some sort of, well, there's an arrival of some sort. And they're going to need to take action. <coughs> Somebody may be getting into a commitment very, very suddenly. Or they may be deepening a bond, stepping it up to the next level. We could also have somebody here that is ending a commitment and becoming independent. <coughs> so, it looks to me as though we have somebody here that is extremely overwhelmed. They've been carrying a heavy burden. They've been struggling mentally with their pride and their ego. They can see very clearly what the best option is. They've been in a state of illusion or they've been in a state of confusion. Now they're angry and they're upset. There's an opportunity for love right in front of them, an abundance of love. This is to be loved and cared for. It may be, there could be some competition here. There is some competition here. This is, this is the end of a painful situation, whether we have an individual that, well, we definitely have somebody here that knows their value and knows their worth. With the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles, that is value. So we have somebody here that knows their value, knows their worth, and they are uh, going to be have, needing to take action. Action. I feel like there's an arrival here. Celebrating an ending, celebrating success, because the Nine of Pentacles is success, and celebrating a new life, because the Empress gives birth to a new life. So we have a new life here that is beginning. But it it's interesting, because the Empress is looking at the Ten of Swords, which is pain. And I always tell you, you don't get that new life without experiencing pain. So I do believe that we have a painful 
release. You know, it's the release of pain. It's the end of something. It's the death. It, 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 Ten of Swords is a death. Okay, it's an ending. It's a major ending. It's the end of, of, of suffering. There's an arrival here. Somebody is, is, is coming in, okay, with the, with the Knight of Wands. They're coming in and action is being taken right now. Somebody is heading into something that is solid, that is real. Walking away from a situation that has held them down and weighed them down and caused them a lot of, it feels like misery, you know. There's been so much confusion and illusion and, I don't know, maybe materialism. I feel like we have somebody here that stayed in this situation for materialistic reasons. They're angry because there's another option. Anyway, somebody's going to be exploring their options, put it that way. And they're going to be building a foundation, a solid foundation. Creating a new life with love and abundance and happiness. I mean, that's what I got. So I would say, oh, taking a journey, taking a ride, moving. This could be moving, packing up, moving, going someplace, going for a ride, taking a ride, taking a journey. Finding the determination and the willpower. Getting in the driver's seat, taking the wheel, getting behind the wheel and going someplace. Somebody's going someplace. They're going someplace and they're leaving something behind where there's no success. And they want success. This is a card of transformation. And it is. We, and this is strength. This is mastering emotions and going in the direction that you want to go in. Not letting fear. And this is, this is somebody has let fear keep them down fear and pride and ego but now they see very clearly and they are going for a ride somebody is going for a they're going someplace they are they're going in a new direction and wherever it is that they're going there is stability this is something there's stability there is happiness there is um commitment Maybe marriage. Dealing with opposition, ready, no fear. Yeah, somebody's taking a ride. They're taking a ride. They're taking the high road. They're, they're, they are. They're leaving behind the battle. They're leaving behind the fight. They're all done fighting. They're overwhelmed with the fighting. They made a poor choice. They've been fighting a lot with somebody. And they are overwhelmed. This is like I... It's too much. This is too much. It's too much. There's too much fighting, okay? Too much fighting. Too many hostilities. This is too much. They made a poor choice. Now they're angry and upset. They were scared, but now I feel like they're taking action. So anyway, this is getting in the driver's seat and going someplace. I, there could definitely be an arrival. Somebody could come knocking. Anyhow, I got to do two more readings. Good luck.